Strokes. I am your host and stroke survivor, Jerry Wald. And for those of you that are new here, I started doing this show to bring awareness to stroke, TBI, aphasia, mental health, um, brain injury. And I also wanted to provide a platform for all survivors to share their stories, their journeys from all across the world, and also bring on experts in brain health to share their knowledge uh, for all of us to, to learn. So, but this morning's guest is Sandy Page, a nine, uh, coming up on nine years, I believe, but she'll tell us, um, having two strokes, I believe. So um, I'll just make comments, ask questions, and uh, also, if you haven't done it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So um, so we'll get started right now. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, let this get this going. There we go. Um, good morning, Facebook user. I think it's Laura and Chandra. Nice to see you guys here. Um, so let's go ahead and bring on Kelly. Oh, there we are. Salute. Let's bring on Sandy. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you. Um, look at all these people there. Good morning, you guys. Thanks for being here. And any questions, you please. Uh, Oh, it might. Oh, Sandy, baby. I know you get that from that movie. <laughs> uh, good morning, you guys. This is good to see you guys all here. Um, so, Sandy, why? Yeah, we should. Uh, maybe we'll, if you we rewind. If we rewind the clock, who was who was Sandy before that infamous day? Well, um. I was very energetic and, and happy, go lucky, too happy, um, considering I probably drank more than I should have. But uh, just, I did everything I used to do before that I do now, but um, they take care of me. So I have had extreme high blood pressure. Um, I was pre-diabetic uh, because I gained a ton of weight. Back back. Um, but other than that, though, I I've always been. Wow. So, so you um, and you mentioned like there was some um, you recently no maybe before that you lost some some amazing weight. Yes, uh, just in the last, last year and a half, um, almost 82 pounds. Uh, my neurologist both recommended intermittent fasting, um, which were my cognitive abilities, uh, because after my strokes, if aphasic, um, I could barely talk. And a speech pathologist that taught me how to words by singing. So, so I, I would sing coffee, like coffee, <laughs> but it made me it's the opposite side of your brain. And, and so I learned how to. to speak a little bit easy how to sing your words right so but started doing the intermittent fasting so pretty much i stopped eating i was a heavy snacker because i never slept well so i would get up and <clears throat> i'd watch the food network station and They'd be making mac and cheese, and I thought, oh. Oh, mac, mac and cheese. So, go airs and make myself some mac and cheese, and um, it really. Um, um, I was 181 pounds now, now I'm, I'm 108. So, um, I've gained a little bit of weight because I went from 
being with Sharpay. <laughs> meaning, meaning, um, I dropped all this weight that I am, um, um, 57. Um, I have plasticity in my skin that, uh, uh, that's not great. How to lift weights, which is super challenging, uh, because feeling in my right side. So I have movement done during my strokes, but I have absolutely no feeling. Lifting wow. weights is extremely difficult because um, of having no feeling on that side. So right. uh, it's, it's a, a challenge. And so my girlfriend, my personal trainer, is, is teaching me how to uh, in the mirror and it's more muscle memory. So I'm able to lift a few weights. Okay. That's great. That's great. Do you, uh, now, what what led up to your stroke? What was there any warning signs? Uh, no, I I had a, just the high blood pressure, smoker. Um, but right before I had my strokes, I had tendon, and, and so I was supposed to have had a, a foot reconstruction. In order to have a foot reconstruction. I had to quit smoking. And, and so, in years, I mean, I, I quit, quit like 13 times. You know, I was a closet smoker. It were, I was never proud of it, but it was so addictive. And, and, um, and so, I quit smoking. And then I was my um, foot reconstruction. I ended up having a TIA what was happening but i was at albertson's with my son and i'm walking around and i'm shopping for but all of a sudden i can figure out i was supposed to go down and so in the back of my, my mind i'm thinking things is weird but i have to act normal because my son's there right, right? and so yeah. and i pick out a few things I don't even know what I bought really. I walked up to the checker, and it was, it was a good friend of mine, Terry, and she said, but she had no idea what it was because I couldn't speak, right? So she's right. saying, I'm shaking in my head, and, and she says, How are you feeling? And I said, Like this, and I couldn't find my words then, but. By the time I got to the drive home, which I have no idea how I made it home, home. but I had no idea. And then uh, another week later was my, my anniversary, my son's basketball game. And I was supposed to have made his team going to make a yaki soba to serve for his team dinner. And so I'm stretching. And all of a sudden, I drop the the paddle, and my arms dangling. And I looked at my husband because we're getting anniversary. And I looked at him, and I couldn't form my word. Jarbled mask. Right. My husband's a lineman, so he knows about. Him. So he told me to sit down. Um, he put the dogs outside. And the ambulance was here in about three minutes. And we live, I mean, the, <laughs> the, the closest place is probably five minutes away apartment. And it's just it's a little fire department. But anyhow, they came and got, they looked at me and I was fairly young. And so and the air had a cat scan machine the cat scan machine and they said she had a stroke but i didn't have i 
wasn't paralyzed at all. It was just that I couldn't. So the clot ended up going and bursting. And so I um, became aphasic and had to learn read and write. The, the reading still not, not talking is great, great about 80% until I'm a very nervous right. or um, or something exciting is said, or, or it's late at night and, and my brain is tired. My husband, my dog's name. And <laughs> so, so but that was the first story. And then the second story after they decided that I had the stroke, they took me to the hospital and CAT scan and they thought that maybe it was um, or something like that. They didn't have any known cause except for extreme. And so I went back home and then a few months later, everything kind of calmed down. Right. Um, one went back to work that they thought, so I'm just sitting at home, just, just you know, surviving. <laughs> so, uh, to my son would take me to my therapist. And um, in March, uh, after everyone is gone, I'm, I'm playing. And all of a sudden, I dropped my iPad, and I knew exactly what was happening. I dialed 911. I knew that I had to get my dogs outside because he had like to come inside when there's growling dogs, right? So I knew I had to get them out. I was completely paralyzed on my right side at this point first. Um, yeah. You know, and so outside, and I'm trying to talk on the phone with my left hand I is kind of dragging. I drag myself out to the road. I had some lady was walking by, noticed that I had the phone in my hand. So she grabbed the phone and and it was you know nine one one. And so King the exact address because it's not on your house phone it's gone and so uh, uh, she told him where I was and she thought it was a, a drug user you know because right. I called out there and just and so anyhow I call her my little angel now um, um, but it was a guy that took me to her urgent care that decided that a little bit more more serious and so he took me to evergreen hospital one of the number one hospitals for strokes and so that uh, just was asking my husband you know he said i noticed that she's had dave said as well i ended up getting a, a cd of the cat scan so that's you know point number one if if you ever go to the hospital, please uh, uh, every you know procedure that they do, e even if, if it's just something of your brain, because this neurologist, my CAT scan determined that I had had a tear in my carotid. So there's something wrong with her neck, and Dave was just like, "What do you mean?" Apparently, I have that tear and so the little blood clot goes up there and it your brain and so I had, had one of the best what do you call it, it he's that he does like vascular and very hard surgery because there was a, a little, little clot there. so all it took was just one little um, in it, and I don't know what I would do because I think with the TPP of it, 
once. Wow. So, because when I clot, uh, I ended up getting the TPA, which oh. is a horrible feeling while having some, some sort of movement. And uh, I really wish that that it would work um, because I'm I'm not perfect. Uh, this stroke. <clears throat> Um, messed with me. But there's a lot of people that are worse, and I hate that. Right. So, what deficits do you have right now? I still have absolutely no movement. So, I'm constantly burning myself. Um, I still have a really hard time um my memory is, is mm. super bad but um like we were talking about i live off of my i know what i'm doing every moment of every, every day on my phone so my husband doesn't like it because it's constantly because you know, I knew that I, I had this thing with, with you, even though we taught it. It, but, but still, you know, at seven o'clock in the morning, I'm thinking, what? Are, and all of a sudden, my phone alerted me at seven. It says, you need to get ready. You have to make an appearance at eight o'clock, and you can't go on looking like I did this morning. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, okay. I don't. I don't usually look like <laughs> no, I know. No, I you, you're terrific looking. <laughs> Do you, um, so I know we talked about trying to prepare every day. I know you, you have a, not your, you, you use alarms to uh, remind, remind you to take your meds or um, it's time to uh, go somewhere. Ever dinner. I mean, some, something simple as making my dinner. And it's hard to because my, my husband works so hard because he's a lightning so sometimes 100 hours a week and so, so I have myself every day to make dinner I have to remind myself every day to eat. I mean it's it, it's something that you know it's it's but it's but everything Thing is it's like um it not to say that it's a bad chore it's not like scrubbing the toilet every day okay? it's like it's, it's like some it's a, a chore to make that 24 hour work work for me right. you know so, so mm -hmm. is i wish there was 32 hours hours so that I can um, so everything and, and and plus two is there's 20, 24 and my brain really only computes about eight full hours so eight hours in the day is when I absolutely have to do um, when I clean my house I clean early in the morning noon uh, i you know th things are in the afternoon and so the, um, there's a I, I, there's an appointment i i, I <clears throat> don't want to interrupt uh jenny is asking uh do you find yourself losing track of time all the time all the time wow. <laughs> i mean it's it's incredible how uh, that that's why i said i wish day because i that one hour is 15 minutes in in my mind but then sometimes that one hour is 24 so, so i think it depends on what time it is. yeah you are because uh, your husband's alignment 
So that's why yes. he works the 100 hours sometimes a week. Tons of hours. Yeah. yeah. Going to Florida, but he's, since they sent so many people from working over here, you know, because yeah. people here need power as well. Yeah. Now, do you ever, I know there's some, uh, there's been a, several questions because we talked yesterday about mental health. Um, how do you handle that? You know, sometimes we, we hide it, but sitting around doing nothing, does it, do you ever find mental health an issue? Oh, yeah. Constantly. I mean, it, yes, all the time. Really, though, I've learned how to, to that is a, she's my breathing life coach. And so, has a lot of breathing exercises. And so, you can heal a lot by breathing and re relaxing and because I think people that have had strokes are I say uptight but their their brains are constantly going can, can go and, and then all of a sudden it can stop right but to me a hamster you know going 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 the hamster just falls and then that's when that's the only time i can stop you know, I, 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 it it's a constant a constant I, I totally understand how people get so and anxious because right now even though i'm right I've got it better than most people do. Full strokes are always thinking. When is it going to be the next time? You know? Yeah. So it, it's D where, um, and, and especially with your seizures, I mean, it, you know you're gonna have them, but you don't. Know when it's gonna be and yeah. where you're gonna be and who. And so you know it, it's depression and anxiousness and right now with COVID, just already. Right. And and so. It's a constant struggle every day to be the best that I can be. And sometimes it's not enough, you know, but I've got um, pretty high just as far as trying make myself feel good and then good, you know, so it, it something just give, giving compliments and hugs. I'm, I'm a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> so same, same here. Same here. Um, do you, do you, do you, um, um, Jenny's asking again, do you, Suffer neuro fatigue, and if so, what what do you do to help? I do suffer, and do is um, I end up doing something like for a nice brisk walk, even though oh. in the back of my I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Um, um, something about walking outdoors. And um, I've learned how to. And, and just being outside with. Um, 
And my favorite time is when it's raining. I mean, and that's usually the worst time to go, but just even going outside, seeing that fresh air and um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you, yeah, no, do you, are you nervous going outside walking? Is that something, you know, you thinking about, oh my gosh, this could be a pebble in the road and if, if it's the wrong way. Oh yeah. Oh yes. But I have, I've got a, um, one of those Apple watches <laughs> and it's all down it alerts right. my husband. If, if I, anything, it, it alerts. I mean, that's, I really, really, <laughs> I never did before, but <clears throat> the Apple Watch got great because every hour it tells me to stand, right? Yeah. And so my mind is always goal achieved. And so, so um, it, if it tells me to stand every hour, I stand in that hour. And something that you said about watching those rings form <laughs> yeah that was exactly uh, yeah but i think it's a great and it, it tracks my heart rate and my blood pressure or not my blood pressure it does my sleep cycle it does you know a great little tool for being a little watch yeah, I know that's. I know that because uh, I have an Apple Watch, not on here now, but but it does. You know, our mine does. But like you said, it track track the REM sleep. You know, when you're really sound asleep, which not, I'm not a lot. Yes. Are you a good sleep? Are you a good sleeper? Because I'm certainly not. Not. No, I'm a horrible sleeper. But I'm into that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, like the metazapine with sleeper anxiety. Um, that has been, and then I'm going to a sleep specialist right now, now uh -huh. and so we need to go get a, a CPAP machine because I have a um, back of my throat, and they said, since I've had so many strokes, that's one of the causes is having um, stop the night. So, do you ever do you have a CPAP machine? No, I know I I I think I can't because I toss and turn all, all all night. So I think that thing would just I would be wrecking it or something. I maybe that's a dumb. No, machine. I think so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's something good in that CPAP machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean that that's a, I'm not a hundred percent sure because I had a hard time. Just wearing a mask, you know, anything over my face like that. I don't, I don't even like to zip up my, hair. you know, I just don't yeah. like, like that, that type of, I'm not sure how this is going to work, work, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. All but, and you're in, just try. that's it. And, and you're in Washington, Washington. So the weather there is, getting cooler now it is but 80 degrees oh, this week well, so but we've got some severe some all, all the wildfires so our, uh, our air is very unhealthy so well, and running and hiking has been been yeah. for a little bit but, yeah. Um, yeah yeah do you have uh, any I'm sure in the beginning, like all of us, yeah, did you have any, or or do you have any kind of swallowing issues or drooling? Um, I did it at the beginning. Yeah. I did, but um, obviously I have drooling at night, so I'm not sure how this CPAP thing's going to work, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Myself. But, but um, but, um so, so far it's been really good. 
most of my swallow tests, except for the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, stroke, but that took probably three months of, you know, like that thickener. Wow. So the coffee would be super thick. Everything was the the thickness of pudding. Yeah, mush. Yes, I totally. did not like that in the beginning. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. So, what would what do you tell people that? Because your attitude is terrific. What do you tell people that? Are, like, I, I want to say newbies, but there's a lot of people that are stroke survivors or brain injury survivors that are um, still going through the really. I, I hate to use the word depression, but it kind of is. Well. well my mind is I am enough. So, so whatever you're going through, um, try your best. And, and everyone should absolutely... I don't even know how to put it. Just, just, just do and make every day just a little bit better. And, you know, if, if you're de depressed and you, you need somebody to talk to, you know, message me. I'm here for everybody. It, yeah. We are a special of survivors, you know, and um, I, I just, you know, I, I love, love everybody, love, love yourself. And, um, you know, it, it, you might never be the person you were before because I'm not. Just make that person that you can be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Stephen, I like your quote. It says, every sunrise is the start of a new day and a chance to try again. That's awesome, Stephen. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Same with me. I always say the same thing like you just said. You know. If you're having like a rough day, feel free to message me to video chat or something just to. Yeah, yeah, you know. exactly. There, it yourself because, you know, we, we understand each other. Right. Mm -hmm. no. I have movement. You might not, but I understand. I understand how special this are. You know, yeah. So, absolutely. You exactly. could just it's the thing. Yeah, exactly. There's you'll have to go through since you're on your phone and are you phone or iPad? I'm on my phone. Okay, because you see the uh, comments really better on the uh, your your iPad. Um, but there's so many great comments out here. Salute. PMA, positive mental attitude, Heather, one day at a time, never give up. Every day we wake up is a blessing. So I appreciate you guys all making comments here and being such a wealth. That's why I love this um, stroke brain injury community because it's so, everybody's wealth, they're so all welcoming because we all know, man, you know, what we're going through. So yeah. even, the, even the caregivers have been with their spouse or partner for, well, when you have a stroke, so you, you all know most of them. Um, thank you, Marina. A blessing um, that uh, they're with us like all the time, and that's a you know you feel like you're going through it. They do. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mike Mike Peters just said, "Welcome to our family." Yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could be sitting here all, all day reading these. Lynette Price, we all get it. And it's that 
I didn't have a stroke, but I definitely understand. It's awesome. It's good. Don't stress today um, what doesn't matter tomorrow. Don't stress today what doesn't matter tomorrow. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so look, you have quite the story. And it's, like I always say, every story is unique. You know, everybody, I think we talked, well, we did yesterday. We, uh, yeah, I just remember I told you we're going to be really talking and just like that. I forgot what I was going to tell you, but, you know, it'll come back when I'm done. I get it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So any other last words, anything that we missed that you want to get out there? Just keep going. Every day, push just a, a little harder yeah. and never ever give up. Ever. Right. You know, it does get the, the neurologists are saying better in a year, or you're not better. Well, guess what? It's been nine years. To say I'm getting just a, a little better. Yes. So just have to keep going. Keep keep going. You know, if if you can't walk, cannot walk, and so I ended up getting a membership at a gym walk in a saltwater pool because yeah. I didn't want to water helps you stand up and it, just do whatever you have just just to get it just that much better every day you'll never you might never be a hundred percent but if you're 80 percent you've got that attitude like like you can just strive you mm -hmm. know if it's not with your body then do it with your brain yeah that's that's true your brain keeps rewiring itself so correct um, yeah so well <clears throat> i really appreciate you coming on here it's really a, a blessing to me and I'm sure to everybody that you're here sharing your story um, you know if we can if we can help one person or somebody then I feel we did our job you know that's what this is all about so yeah. we will definitely be sharing we will be sharing this and I, I, I saw some people out did you put that on your your I did. personal page I did. okay I saw a lot, I did. A, lot, a lot of people I didn't know they were yeah they're they're they're, they're I mean, the people that I keep, keep shining, you know, I yeah. mean, most of them, anything happen like this happened, even if I, I can't speak, you know, they, they'll, they'll finish my sentence. So that they're, they're my people yeah. the thing with Zumba too. As you develop this little tribe of friends, um, they're they're like the best support system, and they let yeah. me cry. They they they, they butter me up and keep just, just telling me how awesome I am. Awesome, <clears throat> but yeah, you need that. Good. That's. that's that's the type of friend you love you guys. Yep, exactly. Well, that's awesome. Well, I, I appreciate everybody being here, and I appreciate your, uh, I'm here and uh, sharing your story. Yeah. Learners. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my gosh. That was, was that last night? And you... No, they were playing today. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, Thank you, Heather and Jenny. Jenny saying thank you for sharing. Um, there's all bunch, but uh, but I thank you guys. We'll see you. Have a great day till Tuesday till then my next show. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anytime. All right.